Hi guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Who said mining isn't profitable? Someone just paid 3,150 Ethereum worth $450,000 in Ethereum transaction fees. One of those transactions was for 0.1 Ethereum and the fees was 2,100 Ethereum. Staggering amount of money and someone, if it was a mistake, is gonna remember this for the rest of their life. A recent transaction in the Ethereum network attracted attention of the crypto community. It is buzzing right now. Uh, there's polls going around. Iman Block is running one uh, himself on Twitter asking people if you were to receive this amount of Ethereum by mistake, would you return it? Most of the people, of course, say is no. It is life changing sums of money if you do receive it. And let's be honest, no one can actually get it back from you unless you want to give it back. A user paid 3,150 Ethereum in transactions fees for three transactions. There's discussion about what might have motivated the payment at such a huge sums. There's different opinions. Some are saying it is likely to be a hugely human uh, costly error. Uh, probably someone mistaking gas for Ethereum. Others are claiming that uh, it is unlikely to be because the account that the money came from, it's or the Ethereum that came from is very uh, active, but that doesn't mean nothing. Anyone can make a mistake at any given days. Others are claiming probably someone is moving illicit uh, sums of money around and that's what, uh, that's why they've paid such a um, huge amount of uh, fees for these particular transactions. And if we were to joke about it, maybe someone was in a rush to pay someone 0.1 Ethereum, so they were prepared to pay 2,100 Ethereum for it. That's crypto problem if something like that can be fixed. Unfortunately, that is definitely something negative about the crypto. Once you make a mistake, it is over. Unless the person on the other side it is willing to give you back the, the money you just paid. You can see the transaction right here. I'm going to put a few links down below so you can check it more in details. But as you can see, the value of the transaction was 0.1 Ethereum, 14 US dollars, but the fee was 2,100 Ethereum $307,000. Let me know what you think. Human error, maybe moving illicit money, maybe gas being mistaken for Ethereum. What do you think it is the reason behind this huge amount of Ethereum being uh, paid for transaction fees? Um, and would you have returned the, uh, the Ethereum if you got it by mistake? And are you now probably thinking to start mining again? You never know, maybe this will occur again and you could pick up some of that Ethereum next time if someone wants to make another mistake. Uh, it happens on Spark Pool, the Chinese uh, mining pool. Not sure who got the money actually and what's going to happen. I'm sure this is going to be a development in the upcoming days and we're going to find out more about it. And hopefully at the end we're going to discover what exactly went down or maybe we won't be. I, I just checked as well the Ethereum difficulty simply because you just never know. Maybe people are jumping on, hoping that if this was to occur again, they can get some of the pie. Uh, and as you can see, it dips down slightly at the end of January, beginning of February, but now it is picking again, simply because the price picked up quite nicely for the past two days. And let's see what's gonna happen. Is it gonna continue to rise or is it gonna dip down again? Ethereum is almost at $150 as we speak. So there you have it, guys. Very quickly, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.